Look, at you know, we knew we had five games. We didn't start as well as we would have liked down in Cape Breton. Probably didn't finish as well as we would have liked in St. John, but the, the, you know, the middle was real good for the team. Uh, you know, to go up there at a great uh, match with Drummondville, who are obviously the defending league champs, and you know, still have a very good hockey club. Uh, you know, they're among the top uh, in the country right now. You know, so that was a real good game. I thought the guys played very well there. Uh, it was a tight 2-1 game in the third, and found a way to extend the lead and end up with a nice result. Uh, you go into Shoinikin, who is a high offensive team. They're a younger team, but they play really good offense. So I thought pretty good job defensively to shut them down. We got some good offense and then, uh, you know, finish the three games and three nights in Victoriaville. And, uh, you know, five goals each night is, is terrific. And even more so is, you know, doing a good job with the goals against as well. I mean, you get a point, you take the pause if you get a point. And I think, you know, if you go on, uh, you know, five games in a row and you get seven out of ten points. I think uh, most teams will take that, but I think we want it more and we weren't real happy. And uh, especially to get overtime, uh, you know, have a good group there that uh, should be a better result, but uh, you learn those lessons along the way and uh, at least you can get a point when you learn the lesson. Yeah, it, uh, it was a good game by the, by the boys and, you know, we, uh, we gelled together after that, uh, that overtime loss in St. John pretty well and, you know, the three assists. I didn't have to do much, you know, the other guys took care of that for me. So I played, uh, I started the, the, uh, the first half of the season in Truro last year, and then I got traded at the deadline to, uh, to Summerside, and my, my time here in Moncton's been uh, pretty unreal. Yeah, it's definitely a big jump, and, you know, a jump that I wanted to make. The, the game's a lot faster, but I think I like it, so it's good. Uh, you know, a big, big D that can play both sides of the puck, and, you know, somewhat showed it tonight that, you know, if I get a chance, then I can put the puck, you know, in good places. It's definitely a lot different, you know, playing in, in front of, you know, seven, 8,000 people instead of just, you know, a 1,000 or two. But, uh, and then on the day-to-day -day basis, it's a lot more and, you know, just down to the detail, it's, uh, it's a big change. Uh, this league's, uh, there's too much parity and, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's about us and our team and growing our team. And, you know, tonight, another, it was good to get back home. I had a great crowd tonight. Uh, you know, the, the building was alive. Uh, you know, and he scores seven at home, it's tremendous. And uh, there's parts of our game we've got to clean up. Uh, you know, I don't like uh, losing third periods when you have a big lead like that, but that's, you know, for tomorrow we know right now it's a real good challenge. Uh, you know, go to Halifax, a uh, quick turnaround. And, uh, you know, a team that we didn't play particularly well when we played them early on in the season. So, you know, we'll see how much better we got. He's a 200-foot player, and, and you know we knew just with the busy summer he had, and, and you know a couple of injuries that he just needed mileage. And uh, each game he's getting better for us. And uh, you know he's uh, he's an infectious personality uh, on the ice and in the dressing room. And you know has terrific leadership qualities. And you know will make a you know obviously will play a big impact and success for our team. Yeah, no, I mean it's an exciting rink to go into. You know, it'll be a big crowd on the Sunday afternoon and. Uh, you know, a good test for our group, and uh, you know, we look forward to the challenge tomorrow.